I've sold some cracking stuff this weekend. There's loads going out the door tomorrow. My average sale price is up. And I think free shipping is actually starting to pay off. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Carboot Chris and I'm a full-time reseller. I predominantly use eBay, but I also use Whatnot as well. Today, you're in my stock room and I'm about to show you what sold over this weekend. This goes from Friday to now, which is Sunday evening. So sort of Friday afternoon to Sunday evening. Um, I'm about to pack everything up because I send out everything first thing on a Monday morning. There may well still be some sales left to come in. Fingers crossed, hopefully, yes. I've got 33 sales ready to go, paid, ready to dispatch on eBay on its own, just eBay. I'll show you what has gone, um, just so you get an idea what's selling at the moment. Certainly for me anyway, everyone's different, I suppose. First one up is this O'Neill um, nice warm fleece. Um, this sold for, I'll have to keep checking my list because I can't remember 33 items, I'm afraid. Uh, this sold for, is right at the bottom, isn't it? This sold for £24. And don't forget to do free shipping now. So there's probably about three quid to come off that. Plus fees as well. So it's not all it's not all gravy. Um, yeah, that's going 24 quid. Nice, nice fleece. I knew it wouldn't take long to go. Let's plunk that down there. We've got a Sum 41 t-shirt. Uh, like a gig t-shirt with the schedule on the back. Tour 2016. That has gone for... That is also £24, believe it or not. 24 quids, free postage. I do actually think free postage is now really starting to pay off for me, seriously. I've had some really good weeks since I started free postage. Initially, it was a bit shaky, but it's starting to pay off now. But on the approach to Christmas, of course, it could be that as well. Um, there's lots of factors why it's very hard to gauge you know, why are you doing well and why are you doing badly on eBay? There's so many factors involved. It really is hard to gauge. A status quo t-shirt. I bought a big bundle of these status quo tees a while back and they've all been slowly dribbling away. This is the Pictures Exposed Tour. What year is it? 2009. It's got some age to it, a bit retro. This went for £17. Um, so that's not too bad, is it? Probably cost price on that was only like one or two pound at the most. Quite a bit of clothing going out this weekend. I've got a pair of M&S women's chinos. Brand new with tags, size 18. What did these go? I think these were women's chinos. If 15 pound, yeah, 15 quids for the chinos. You know what though? I hate selling trousers, I seriously do. I don't know what it is. I think it's the pictures and trying to um, sort of get the measurements across to people, you know? Like when you're measuring across and you're trying to figure out, you know, waist measurements and stuff. I know you can give the waist measurement as it's written on the tag, but sometimes it's a little bit different. I don't know. I hate selling trousers. I hate selling jeans. Um, there tend to be a fair bit of returns on trousers because it's such a personal thing with sizing. Um, let's see what else we've got. This is a Columbia black hooded jacket. Columbia can do well, but sometimes it can be a bit naff as well. So I wouldn't hang all your money into Columbia jackets. This went for, I've had this a little while. I think it was 15. Yeah, 15 interchangeable hood Columbia. Just a plain sort of lightweight windbreaker sort of jacket. Oh, Omnitech. It's a decent jacket, but 15 quid with free postage. You've got a question, you know... We're on the verge of like, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it if, if it didn't have decent value, but 15 quid free postage. I'll probably pick that up before I started free postage, to be honest. But it's a sale and they all count. They all go in the kitty. Um, let's have a look at this one. All Blacks, uh, North Gear Sport, All Back Blacks. Not the, the All Blacks, but the Cornish All Blacks. Wow. The Cornish All Blacks. I can't do Cornish. Um, that was more Bristol, wasn't it? It's the same neck of the woods. Similar. I think it's a similar accent, Bristol and Cornish. They'll probably kill me for that now. I know a few Cornish people. Um, this went for 10 quid. 
So I've had this a little while. This was a summer boot sale pickup. I seem to remember buying it. Um, 10 quid free post, so seven quid minus fees. There's not much coming back on that. Um, good news is I don't really pick up such cheap stuff now, low value, unless I'm doing um, like toys and stuff for whatnot. I like to pick up, um, I like to give people some good bargains on whatnot. Um, remember at the boot sale, I think it was Dawlish boot sale down in Devon. I picked up a few of these VW bag bags, uh, like duffel bags, and um, I can't remember what I paid, but I think I paid a fair amount, maybe about £8 each or something like that. I don't know if you remember or not. You know, if you're an avid supporter of the channel, you might remember. Uh, and this is my last one. I think I got four, three or four. They've all sold for between 30 and 40 pound, various prices, depending on offers. This one has gone for 30, e -e -e -e, let me find it, bold, bold, bold. That must be at the bottom. A few moments later. 37 pounds, 77 P. And it's going in, no, it's not going international. Hi, appreciate if you could carefully pack the item so it doesn't get creased, damp, or injured in transit. Ooh, injured in transit. Anyway, 37 pounds, 77 P, a bit random. Must have been a percentage. But again, I think I think this was about eight pound cost price. So that's all right, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Um, let's have a look. I've got some sketches here. A little pair of blue sketches. I ain't got a clue where I bought these from. I can't remember. But they sold for £25.99. Always happy to pick up sketches. Um, if they're in good condition, you should get more than £20. Um, and some are unusual or nice colours and designs and stuff. So that was a nice sale. Oh, here's a good sale. A barber jacket. Barber Wilderness Collection, completely authentic, brand new, but without tags. I think this was a trainer lady purchase. Remember trainer lady? Um, I think this came from her. Um, it is brand new, immaculate. But what did it go for? I think it was a decent amount. With it being Barber, it's probably like 60 plus, I reckon. But I can't find it on the sold list. Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh, it was better than I thought. 99 quid, spot on, 99 quid. Why have they paid £104.45? Hmm. I'm intrigued. Hang on a minute, guy. I'm intrigued at this one. It went for £99 and they paid £104.45. I wonder if this one, for some reason, oh, includes eBay collected tax. Interesting. Ah, it's going GSP, so there's a tax on top that eBay charge. Normally it says international sale on the list, but it didn't say international sale. It's going to the USA. So it... It actually sold to me for £99, and it's gone with £5.45 tax on top for the sell. Yeah, the tax that they charge on top. Okay, let's shift. Let's do something different because I'm getting fed up with clothing. Um, I bought this bundle of Harry Potter figures. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. Let me just check. Hmm, you can see those. You can see them, can't you? Um, it's a bundle of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little Harry Potter figures with some accessories and stuff. These sold for £46. They cost me £10. Um, and when they arrived in the post, I looked at them. No, they eight figures, actually. I looked at them and I thought, they're smaller than I thought. I said to Belle. These are way smaller than I thought. I thought they were sort of eight inch figures. I don't know whether I didn't read in the description, typical buyer, but I thought they were bigger figures and I thought, probably not gonna make much on them. But in the end, when I did my research, I put them up for 50 originally and then I knocked a bit off and they sold at full price in the end, 46 pounds. 
Um, I've got a um, The Police. You remember the band The Police, 80s? Um, Funko Pop Trio set. And this went for £21. I recently sold one of these. I think it went to one of the Steves from Movie Chats on YouTube. Plug there for you guys. Um, can't remember what they paid, but it weren't £21. So they know they got a good deal. I think it went for, for less than that anyway. Less than, I, don't, I can't remember, to be honest. But uh, this has gone for 21 so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I've got one of those left, actually. Yeah, got one left there. One in stock. Uh, let's do something else. St another status quo. I mean, is there, a, is there something going on with status quo at the minute? Because I've sold a few bits of status quo stuff. This I picked up at tabletop sale, you may remember. Um, it is a USB stick that has um, the album pictures, 40 years of hits. It's got the album and it's got pictures on it, uh, which is interesting, isn't it? And I've never had an album presented in that way before. I think this sold for £12. Uh, cost price was like two, I think. Uh, I've sold the Christmas decoration. Remember all the Christmas decorations I bought in the USA. Um, I've got a few. I've got a few left. I have sold some, um, so I'm well into profit. But they're not going for much. These are going for like ten pound each with free shipping. So I'm just glad to get them moving. But what did this one? This went for nine pound. This one. So came all the way from the USA. Cost me like I think it was like less than a dollar each or something like that. Um, and went for nine pound free shipping. I've sold a Coca Cola. It's the right time to sell these Christmas Coca Cola toys, obviously. Uh, this um, is it a corgi matchbox? Sorry, this matchbox car has gone for fifteen pound on an offer. I think I had it up for around twenty, but it's going for fifteen pound. And I've had it a little while, so happy to take an offer on it. I did offer the guy, um, or girl, I'm not sure. Um, I've got some other Christmas Coca-Cola matchbox, so I sent them pictures and I think they're mulling it over. Well, that's gone for 15. Uh, Harry Potter plush. Um, this has sold for 30. So that's a nice, that's a nice buy. Or a nice sale as well. 30 quid. I think I paid about three or four pound for that one. A um, bit more clothing to do. I've got a barber long sleeve um, polo top. Can you see that? Barber. Um, I only listed this a couple of days ago and this is gone for 20, 24 pound, I'm gonna say. No, it's not that one. Barber, 24.99. I think that's what I listed it for, actually. It's just gone for full price. Um, I've got another pair of... Uh, I, mean, I think this is the same buyer as the other m and trousers, the chinos. I think it's the same person. Um, so these are just uh, corduroy pants. What did these go for? m and corduroys, 20 quid. I've just had an offering on something, actually. I shall have a look at that in a, in a tick. Uh, they've gone for £20. Um, a new era. I'm going to stand on this side for a little while just to mix it up. Golden State Warriors new era jumper. I've had this a little while. Um, I can't remember where, but actually, no, I tell a lie, I do remember. It was Peacock Meadow car boot sale down in Plymouth. Um, if you've never been to that boot sale, it's a lovely boot sale. Nice people that run it. Always very supportive of me um, coming along and videoing and using my camera and stuff because it was amazing free advertising for them, I'm sure, and they loved it anyway. They loved um, me uh, doing videos on their car boot. So that has gone for £15 free postage. If you stay tuned to the end, if you're sort of into this enough to stay till the end. I'll let you know what my, what my average sale price was on eBay for this weekend um, and my total sales amount worth, worth hanging about for. Now, I picked this up recently. You might have seen it on a video. Um, 
I said on that video that this was worth 80 to 100 pound, I think, this retro game system, game comp, 80 to 100 pound. Now, that is true if the thing works. <laughs> After I made that video, this went in my death pile, and then I dug it out the other week, listed it, and when I checked the battery compartment, it was rotten to the core. It was not salvageable. That it was literally crumbling. Now I know fix it for reselling, Tommy could have fixed it, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna ask Tommy to do another fix it for me. So uh, because I only paid three pounds for it, I decided just to list it as spares and repairs. I think I put it up for $59.99 spares and repairs. And someone from Germany offered me 45 quid. Oh no, 44 quid. Someone from Germany offered me £44. And before I accepted it, I messaged them and said, look, are you aware that this is not working? It needs work, it needs repair. They said yes. Um, so then I agreed at £44. So I was happy to take 44 I might have got over 50 if I'd have waited longer, but I'll take the quick flip and I'll take the profit um, because I only paid £3 for it. So it's worth, I think, in my opinion, Take the offers. If it's fair, if it's reasonable, it's not working. 44 quid is still great. If that was working, guaranteed 80 to 100 pound. Anyway, I'm still happy with that because it's still a decent price. Um, a super dry cagoule. Do people even say the word cagoule anymore? It's a rain jacket, isn't it? Super dry cagoule. Uh, what did this sell for? I do not know because my brain is too old to remember. This is sold for $24.99. That has gone for full price. So I'm happy with that one. We've also sold a Jules women's jacket coat. Jules always a good brand to pick up. Sort of a middle of the road brand, but it is very, very popular. This is waterproof and breathable. Uh, jewels, that's the logo you're looking for. It says the word jewels on it. Um, again, only listed this last week. This is gone and it has gone for the priceless sum uh, of, I'm trying to kill time so I can find it. Can't bloody find it, Jesus Christ. It's at the bottom, 22 quid. So not huge money. But it sold quite quick. I think I had it up for 25. Someone offered me 22 and I took it. Um, I also sold this um, American Chopper bike. This went for um, 30-ish, I'm gonna say. You remember at the boot sale at the tabletop, I picked up a load of choppers Oh, it went for £35. I mean, I only had it up for £36.99. Somebody offered me £35. That's a no-brainer. Bang, bang. Thank you, ma'am. That is going um, £35. Quid. Uh, a jigsaw, sealed jigsaw. It's that kind of time, isn't it, that sealed jigsaws should go. Nice little little gift stocking fillers and whatnot. Uh, this was, was jig. Is that how you say it? I always... Was jig, is that right? I don't know. This went for $14.99 free postage. Um, I've sold a Nike um hoodie, brand new. Uh, this one, nice looking hoodie, women's women's hoodie. It has gone for, I've sold two hoodies actually, uh, the other one went for 35, this one has gone, why can I not, not find it? The order is just stupid, it's in the order in which it sold, 20, 24? No, that's the O'Neill. I was going to say, I didn't sell this for 24, 42. So the opposite way round of 24. £42 for that Nike um, hoodie. Brand new, still in its original Nike bag. I'll keep it in there. Uh, this, this Nike ACG hoodie also sold, women's hoodie. That's gone for 30, 35 I think I said. 
I've had quite a few offers on that. I've had quite a few offers. I've been hesitant, but I thought, you know, let's let's let it go. Thirty-five quid. Uh, I've sold an Atlanta Starbucks mug. Nice big fat mug. It's a nice one. Um, I don't think it went for a lot of money. Some Starbucks are amazing prices. So definitely worth checking out if you see the mugs. If they are very cheap, like 50p or something, just buy them because you're going to get at least a tenner. And that's what I got for that. Ten quid for that Atlanta mug. Um, I like Atlanta being there. Loved Atlanta. Home of the Walking Dead. Um, I've sold a tiki. Tiki mug. Uh, this is going abroad. I'm not sure where. It's going via GSP. It, it went for £14. It's actually only like a mini. It's a six inch tiki. Most of us know what six inches is. But that is a six, six inch tiki. Um, 14 quid. The sales go on. It's been a, It's been a nice weekend for sales. And considering... I have not listed a brand new item all weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Not listed a single thing other than sell similars and reduce the prices, optimise listings. I've done 35 a day, Saturday, Sunday. But I've not listed a single brand new thing this weekend. And I've still had a really good weekend. Um, Star Trek Adventure. Now, this is nice. I can't remember the cost price on this. I think I'd like to say £20. I think it was £20. It's a satin bomber jacket from Universal Studios. Look at the back of it. If you're a Star Trek fan, that's awesome. Really nice. Real nice condition. I, I think I paid 20 for it. And it's gone for... What did I accept in the end? It went on an offer. It's gone for 60 I think I had it up for 80 And somebody... I've had it a little while, like two months-ish, maybe. So someone offered me 60 and I thought, bird in the hand. Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So that's what it's all. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren knit, cable knit jumper. I think that is what is that that is what it's called. Uh, listed and sold very, very quick. Only listed it this week. Sold within probably two days. Um, cost, um, sale price, sorry. I don't, I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, but sale price was £20. I actually had it up for, I think, 25 Someone offered me 20 I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it all day long. And I sold a weird fish women's pink jumper quarter zip. Um, nice looking jumper to be fair. This again went very, very quick. Weird fish seems to just sell pretty quick. A bit like Fat Face, kind of like a mi middle of the night, middle of the road brands, but very popular. Can't find the weird fish. When was it Friday? I think it was Friday evening. So it's got to be down the bottom. Weird fish. Seventeen pound. I had it up for twenty. It's gone on an offer for 17, so that's okay. Uh, I've got two more items to share. I sold this pair of boots just about half an hour ago before I started filming. This pair of boots went... Um, Sorel, Sorel, is it? Yeah, Sorel boots. Um, nice sort of winter walking boots. Uh, real nice, brand new condition, all new with tags. Uh, that went for £60. So that's okay. And um, I bought a big bundle of uh, Necker head knockers, like this one, which is Dracula. And um, cost price on this is a, a roughly £15. So I spent 150 on like nine or 10 head knockers. Um, so if you divide it, it's about £15 per piece. And this has gone for 50 something. Two hours later. 55 pound. So 15 into 55. I'll still take it. I am more than happy with that. That's everything that has sold so far this weekend from Friday afternoon 
to now, which is Sunday evening. Fingers crossed, we might get a few more sales in overnight into the morning. Um, I've got two people haven't paid yet. I've sold these two as well. I've sold this lovely boxer dog. Remember that one? That has gone for 30. The uh, PS4 controller with keyboard uh, has gone for 20. But they haven't paid yet, so I'm not going to package those up just yet. Um, but my average sale price for this weekend on eBay was £32.80p. And I totaled a sale, my total sales for the weekend, uh, 33 items sold, was £1,083. So not bad at all. Very, very happy with that. And um, the average sale price is right where I want to be, maybe a little bit higher. Well, it's never going to be higher than where I want to be. I want it as high as possible. But £30 is where I'm aiming for average sale price. And that is what I'm, I'm achieving at the moment, which I'm very happy about. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what's selling right now on eBay. Um, drop us a comment below if you like these what's sold videos, because I will carry on doing them now and again. Um, I'm looking for videos other than car boot videos because there's there's not as many going around at the minute. So let me know what you think. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. We might see you on the live show soon. And don't forget, um, check out all the links in the description below. We'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one.